Actually, this is a question I think probably you're one of the only few people on the planet that can answer. There was um, a version I heard of um, uh, Love Thing, one of your tracks, and it was a jazz version. It's Kenny Green scatting over the track. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the song, Kenny Green says, I hope somebody recorded that. Who was responsible for recording that? Because I am so grateful to them. Oh, wow. You know what? <laughs> at a lot of times when we would just we started running a, a style of, of recording vocals and all. And I would say, yo, just let it run. Run it, run it, run it, all the way to the end. And because I would go in many times and I would shuffle the vocals around. You know, so a lot of the songs that I would do, I would literally have to give the track back to the artist so they could learn it because I'd move so many things around. It was like, they were like, wow, that's crazy. And I said, no, but it, it works, right? So, yeah. you know, so they, they'd have to get time to kind of un, like learn the pieces. But that, I felt that's what, you know, my job was to do was to just to get the best of their best. So we used to have all these tracks of just them going, you know, and, and Kenny was fun to deal with at that time because when you got him to be really energetic and fun you know he could do some really good stuff and some really silly stuff in there too because you know he's a nut but you know he it it was kind of the process that we did and stuff so we would kind of just let it let it go you know which artists were you most proud of working with mm. any legends that you worked with that you were like i feel I blessed to have worked with this individual or group I don't, you know, it's, I was always funny about things like that. And I remember when we were doing, uh, the, uh, Dave and I were doing the remix for Michael Jackson, and, it, you know, everybody was had such a big hoopla about it. And we, um, well, we had to sign papers before we got into the studio. The wheels came handcuffed to a guy, and, and it was just like, like, what's going on? Like, this is insane. <laughs> you know, and, and to me, you know, you know, when, when I was kind of like, well, until I know who this guy is, you know, I don't really have love for artists until I know them, until I meet, you know. It's like Stevie Wonder could be a great musician, but, you know, if he's, you know, not a nice guy, yeah. then I won't like him. It won't matter what he does, you know. Sure. So personality has a lot to do with where, where I like with, with certain things. Like I, I like Mariah Carey as a singer and the talent and that kind of thing, you know, but especially at that time, she was very untouchable and that didn't make it very fun to do, you know. It's when people want to interact and do what musicians do, you know, talk to each other and, and have someone talk back to you, that's, that's what makes it incredible. So usually my best times in doing songs have really been with writers, not, not necessarily the artists. You know, it's been either artists, like writers or writers who are artists. You know, favorite writer you've worked with? Well, Kenny. You know, Kenny. Uh, Kenny Green is definitely been the most interesting character to work with. You know, and some other writers who were who maybe folks didn't know much about, like Eric Montaigne, who was a great writer. He um, did the uh, song with Jeff, with Jeff Red, with Dave Paul, you called and told me. Yeah, incredible singer too. If you heard this guy sing, it's just. It's insane. So what happened to him? Because he worked on the Joe, Joe's first album as well. He yeah, was the politics of how things happened. Group was coming out. It was coming out and it didn't end up happening by the end of the day. But still, just an incredible singer. Like, like, a, like you know, I, I hate to even put like a, let's say a Johnny Mathis on it, but it was that ability to be that smooth and sing and be relevant. You know, he just has such a gift in doing this stuff. Now, I still listen to some of the vocals. Like when we talk about complexity of vocals, right on par with Kenny. And some of the stuff was just insane, this stuff. But it goes back to that, what's commercial and what's okay. So a lot of these guys will get to really blow as they would. Yeah. You know? It's like some of the stuff you'll have Kenny do is, is pretty, it's pretty impressive, you know, and you'll just, you don't ever, you know, you'll never get to hear it because no one would think it'd be commercial enough, you know, but, you know, that's, that's the unfortunate piece of sure. you know, this business. So, Navelle, you've had a few year break. Yeah. Yeah, the break's over now. So, um, back, yeah. is, it, is, there, is it back to work, business as usual? It is, it's back to work, 
And it's actually, this will be the first time I'm taking it as a business. Yeah, I didn't really take it as that. I took it as musicians doing musicians' work. You know, and there was that thing with musicians where if you did get to business, you weren't really a musician. You know, it's the cultures are so different when it comes down to stuff like that, and even like jazz guys. I mean, all of this stuff has sort of melded a little more, and people aren't so harsh about it. But before, you know, musicians judged each other for being too commercial or doing anything like that. You got really, you know, harsh criticism for things like that. And I was still a part of that world, and I think now in doing it. I understand why I'm doing it and what I'm trying to do. And and a lot of this is about understanding the business and teaching a lot of the, the newer guys what to do, you know, what to pay attention to and to take it seriously as a business. You know, don't let the music make you run away from the responsibility of what this is about. So if somebody wanted to know um, what's happening with Kenny, uh, with Novell Hodge, how, who, how, where would they find out about Oh, well, right now, it's, everything's been sort of under wraps. I've been kind of putting a few things together. Top secret. Um, sort of, because it's curious when, when you start doing something and folks start being involved in, in even just, you know, the other day I, uh, I have a group that I have signed now. This is the first group I've ever signed. And, um, I went to another guy that does A&R and I said, I just want to get your opinion on what it was. That, playing that song, got three other A&Rs that called me. I'm like, you know, so what's going on? You know, I got, and that's exactly what I didn't want. You know, I kind of want to be able to come in cleanly and just say, this is what we're working on. This is where we're coming from. And this is what we're going to do. Like, we're not going to be changing directions. This is going to go this way. So, um, this is this is interesting. You know, it's definitely a better perspective. I think it's more healthy, especially in doing business. You know, and um, so there, there should be some new stuff. Definitely, I'll be producing some records, and um, it's been good. It's been very good. Anything you'd like to say to your fans on NGSForever.com? Oh, um, wow! Uh, tell you the truth, uh, I never really uh, <laughs> addressed that kind of thing, and I'm always surprised when someone tells me that they actually like what we're doing. Um, I just have to say thank you. I, I, I so much wish that the audience could run where this industry goes. I, I really think that, especially now with music being more open and and you know independent labels being here, and, um, this is a time for the customer, you know, to come in here and pick the things you like, not just what people tell you to like. Those things are going to be here, but it's imperative that you show the labels what they, what you want. Because they will do what you want if you tell them. It's the power of the people in a serious way. And there can be some really creative things going on. So make us work, you know. Don't let us give you something semi and you still play. You tell us go back in there and, and make, tighten that thing up. You know what I'm saying? But thanks a lot. And speaking of work, then we need to go into the studio now. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go and uh, see what's going on with, with the, the intro crew. Yeah, let's go check that out. All right, that's it for today. See you guys later, back to the lab. Thanks, Indian.